Okay, well we're inside the Range Rover Classic and we had the headliner redone. If you saw the tailgate video, you might have noticed that the uh, headliner was drooping in the back. That wasn't because you have to remove that to do the new glass, but uh, we were at the same time getting a headliner redone. And so in order to get the sunroof card in, basically the cover, you have to go at it from under the headliner. Before you put the headliner in, get your headliner card for the sunroof back in. And so I'm gonna go ahead and remove these two nuts and then carefully move forward, making sure that I've got some point of contact on the front and then I'm gonna tip it back and uh, see what we've got for the install. Okay, so with a 10 mil uh, ratchet, I've gone ahead and taken one, two, three, four bolts. I've loosened the nuts, I should say, excuse me. And I've started to loosen these here. Leave this alone, you don't need to touch that. But you gotta get this bracket lowered. And so, let's take a step back here. Notice that the drains are attached. Okay, and so we do have it down. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna just pull out some of this extra gook that we're finding. And it's supported right now. If you had an extra helper to hold it up, that'd be great. I'm going to go ahead and let it dangle like it is right now, just temporarily, while I get the card ready to go in. And uh, we're going for getting the card into these grooves here, so that the um, sunshade will slide. So we're going to aim for that now, and getting this up and in. I should add, make sure your hands are perfectly clean, because you're about to be touching this nice brand new surface as you do this. So if you do remove any gook like I did, um, make sure your hands are nice and clean just before you make a fingerprint you can't get back. So next, go after those two Phillips head screws and make sure when you do that that you collect not only two screws, but the retaining circlips on the bottom. You're gonna take that off because what that'll do is that's gonna allow the track to elevate out a little bit so that you can slide the headliner card in for the sunroof cover. Next, find a way to pry out the white plastic stop inserts. That's actually what makes your headliner stop going too far back. So go ahead and, and find a way to pry those out. You see I've been able to get under this, and I won't be able to do it with one hand on the video, but I'll be able to pull that out now because there's a little, a little button or a little circle on the bottom of it that catches in and is a retainer. Once you pry it up, you should be able to slide it out. So when I had access to both hands, I went ahead when I had that pried, I grabbed this with the needle nose and just pulled it straight out and we will set that off to the side here. And we'll go for the other side. Okay, now. so that's up and out of the way now, and I've got a pry bar in here, and I'm going to get this low enough to be able to slide that in. And this is just rubber, so I can move it down out of the way, and I'll be able to slide the headliner card down that track. Okay, so I'm fitting these four slider clips in, and what happens is these actually ride inside the track, and they are, um, they've got a nice little groove in them that sits up nicely. And you can see I've gone ahead and gotten these two on. And what I'm doing to do that, is I'm coming over here and I'm feeling exactly where that is. And then very carefully, I am coming in and scoring this back and removing the material so that those will slide on. Because you can tell there's no room for any extra material in between there. So what it is is the headliner guys didn't know about these clips. They just went ahead and covered the whole surface. And so I'm going ahead and peeling this back and then I'll put the knife blade right in there and get that back to where it's nice and flush, and then I can put the uh, clips on. Okay, so I've shoved a couple of screwdrivers well up under here in order to get the track high enough to slide it in, and I'm just sliding it in, and as I go, I then have to, as I get close to this point here, and then at the summit here, I have to keep this front one to fit underneath. But I'm gonna keep pushing, and we should slide in okay. So don't forget to replace the stopper and all your hardware and then go ahead and bring it on up and there will be the six nuts that'll go on these six studs. Then test your, before you get too tight, test the glass opening and closing. Remembering that the glass is supposed to bring the headliner uh, sunroof card with it when it comes back if it's closed. Okay, and so I've got the accessory power on and I have the uh, control for the uh, sunroof temporarily reconnected before we put the headliner back in. And that was the, the window is now up outside. Now it's closed. And now I'm gonna push this button to let it slide it back.
and there we go. Now, it's new and it's snug, and it probably wouldn't be the worst idea to put some some spray silicone or something, some dry silicone. There's actually they sell a spray up in here to help it slide. But um, you know, if we bring the glass back forward, of course it's not supposed to come back on its own. And then everything's working great here. If I pull this with my hand, it's definitely doable. It's just brand new, kind of tight. So uh, the headliner material, I think, is just a little bit thicker than the factory. So getting the headliner in, it's just a little bit of patience, and you basically just work it on up and in. Two people is certainly not a bad thing. And you just finesse it on up and in. You wiggle it up like so. Certainly with one hand on the camera, only one person, not super easy. But um, just very careful to get it up and in. I'm gonna hold it uh, a little bit shy of being done because I wanna put in some metal circlips. Somebody had put in plastic over there and they are stripped. So I've got some metal like you have here, spares, and I'm gonna do that right so that it's good for the client. Uh, so a second ago I called this circlips and of course that was a misstatement, but I've got the metal uh, spiral lock, I guess is what they are, at least what I call them. That may not be right, but they basically are the little metal clips that give you the ability for a screw to go in and have something to uh, screw into. Anyways, I got those now and I'm gonna push this forward. What I'm gonna do is catch the lip of the headliner up into here very carefully and then I will push it up and then make sure it's all lining up. I have gone ahead and uh, marked my holes where the hardware is going to go through. I've marked that, I've drilled everything out and uh, we're ready to go up for install. So the front's all nice and neatly tucked up and in there but before I go ahead and try to start stabbing at this and getting that right I of course have everything back here hanging. So I will first install the two handles, uh, not necessarily tightly, but just to help carry the weight and carry the load, and then make sure that my light wire here is running back down through the center light hole, and then we will proceed on back here to the speakers and the um, inserts. So a couple little pointers that you'll want to do, and that is to go ahead and um, I had to go ahead and by hand fabricate this because they had accidentally at the upholstery shop covered over this and we need that to go there. Also this hole for an insert was not done so I had to go ahead and um, bring that hole through. So just make sure that you've got everything pushed through the fabric before you go up and in. And then of course also these are for your back seat and make sure that you have the hook to where something could hang on it, right? like so, not like so. So two for the back and two for the front. Well, that's actually my last, my extra little bit of uh, advice. When you're doing this, don't accidentally drive away with one of them on the roof of the car, because that's why I only have three and we have one coming from eBay. Yep. And then this is just a 90 degree turn on these plastic screws. So it goes in like so. And then once I have it up and in, those are gonna turn 90 degrees and hold it in place. It just works really, really slick. Okay, so the front's up and in, and uh, you just have to kind of have a little bit of patience because you, you will have already drilled out or marked these holes and they should line up, but of course, even if they're off by an eighth of an inch, it's not just gonna wanna go in. So you just have to kind of go ahead and first try to get the holes started uh, with the screws without the visor and get the screws. Make sure you know where they are in the angle and the pitch of your screws. And then you can pull the visor, then you can put the visor up, put the screws back in, and it'll go a little easier for you. Uh, the, um, Sunroof is now dressed with its trim and what you might find is that it doesn't want to go here if you've already put this piece in So if you back this piece off Turning those uh, two plastic screws 90 degrees get that out of the way get this to where the uh, It's kind of a W flange uh, to where the 
one leg is up and over the middle, the middle piece is in between the fabric and the outer piece is on the outside of the fabric. And that's looking really, really nice and pretty now. So we're just gonna come back now and we are going to install the lights, tighten up the handles, put in four of these inserts and put the speakers back in. And that just takes some time and then we're done. So on the off chance that you're watching this install so that you can figure out and reverse how to take it all apart, uh, you have two screws here that go up into the roof line. Once you take those two screws out, the headliner comes loose. You have a insert there, an insert here, four screws on the speakers, and then everything behind me is the same. Uh, the handles hold it in the center and in the front. It rides across the lip. There are no screws up front other than the visor retainers on both sides and then those um, the uh, controls and dome light card up there or um, uh, fascia that you just undo with those 90 degree plastic screws. You just turn those 90 degrees, it comes right out. Move your way around and we'll be done. Now I'm using my headliner clips that I already took out because I'm so careful to take them out. But if you find that you're just a little squishier, they're wanting to maybe not going all the way, you can get these on eBay and they're just headliner retainer clips for a Range Rover Classic. You'll get the same color gray. Once you've got your retainer clips in, just push this back in behind this little flange here. Just push the whole piece back in and that's now holding that nice and clean. And I'm gonna put the last two in and we'll do a quick little uh, video inside and we're done.